happy Good Friday, happy Easter week, happy Easter to all the fabulous ladies in the Women Who Slay coaching group with the one and only Missy Day. What's up with the wheels behind you? Huh? Well, I wanted to share something that I think is like super duper cool. And uh, this is called the wheel of names.com. And I've used it for a couple months now and I love it for some of the groups I'm in, whoever wins a prize, et cetera, et cetera. And obviously it's very customizable. So you'll notice the Slay logo in the center and all of our names on the wheel. You can put those in even as your guests are arriving. Obviously this is something you can do or have a helper do uh, as part of your admin team, but you put everyone's name in and then now the winner of the dynamic whatever it is, and you spin the wheel. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, funny. I promise I did not plan it that way. Oh, yay, it's missing. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> All right, so Missy's the winner, and we already knew that, so that worked out great. So very seriously, the Wheel of Names is really a blast, customizable. I did this in Easter colors today just because I thought it would be fun. So I wanted to share that with you just because, again, I, I think it's a blast to do. Missy sent us a video this week, today, a minute ago, actually, and said, what is your ask of the group? Well, my ask of the group, if you would be willing, many of you have already subscribed to my YouTube channel, and I appreciate that so much. Uh, that is growing slowly, but steadily, and I really do appreciate that. Kathy Weaver KC is the name in my channel if you haven't been there yet, and I, I would love it if you would uh, subscribe. It just it just helps boost my rankings, but all three of my books are on there, and uh, obviously for free by chapter on a playlist, so if that is a good fit for you, I'd love that too. But my ask is actually, I guess you would say a little more personal. A couple of weeks ago, I started a new group. Um, Happy Neighborhood Project has been around since the early 2000s. And so I started attending a couple months ago and I felt that there was a void. And so I suggested and offered to the CHO Chief Happiness Officer, what would happen if we started a group for women only in the Midwest? And obviously the entire world ladies uh, are invited, everyone, and it's free. And I'm all about offering networking opportunities to people for free. Uh, obviously there's a time and place for chambers and membership places, but in this particular case, COVID pandemic, shutdown, lockdown, all that stuff, free is a good fit for a lot of people. So I asked if we, they could start a Midwest ladies group. Well, what happens when you suggest something? Guess what, you're in charge. And so that's okay with me. And Midwest Ladies was born about three weeks ago. It's been a fantastic response. Um, it really seriously has. So my ask, about 50 girls have shown up each of the three weeks we've been uh, in uh, open. And so if you would be willing to attend, oh my gosh, I would be out of my mind excited for that. But if you have people in your life, and again, this is global, everyone in the world can come. All ladies are invited to Midwest Ladies. It's 11 o'clock central time every Thursday. It is always free. There are breakout rooms. So you're not in a room of 50 or 60 girls. It is literally breakout rooms where you've got about five or six people. And there's two breakout rooms per session and the sessions last 55 minutes. And so your breakout rooms are only about 20 and there's two of them per session. So every Thursday you get a chance to have a breakout room twice in that 55 minute period. So again, it's fun it's organized, it's timed. So literally your obligation is 55 minutes. There's an opportunity for a wheel spin, not like this. They do it a little differently, but I like this wheel just because it's pretty. Uh, but they have an opportunity for a wheel spin. I've actually won that three times this week, which is hysterical. If you knew my track record for winning, you'd be going, uh, yeah. But it's so much fun to go to Happy Neighborhood Project. And Midwest Ladies was birthed because I suggested it so <laughs> <laughs> be careful what you suggest, by the way. But if you're available on Thursdays at 11 o'clock Central Time, I would love to have you. And it's happyneighborhoodproject.com. 
you go to events, you click on networking, you scroll down to Thursdays because there's 65 groups, by the way. So any of the 65 that work for you, I go to Nevada every single Thursday at four o'clock central time. And I love Nevada. And I'm really serious about that because you can go to any of the 65, they're all free. And so I just wanted to offer that to you. My ask is if you would attend, that would be lovely. And also if you know people, uh, ladies in your world, who only like to network with women or who prefer to network with women or who just need a new place to network, I would be forever grateful because I love what the Happy Neighborhood Project is offering and it really has been a good fit for me. So I've only been a member about a month, but I love it and it really is always free. You really do need, meet people from all over the globe and it's just a blast. So that's my ask. Thank you very much, happyneighborhoodproject.com. Peruse around, find out Edwin's mission. It's a pretty cool TED Talk, by the way. And let's see who the winner is as we exit. Boom! Ah! Oh my gosh, guess what? It is the one and only Sally. Ta-da! So, <laughs> it's pretty fabulous to learn something new. And I think the wheelofnames.com is a blast. I'll see you guys soon. And thank you again, Missy, for this awesome group. Yes, I love it. Have a great day and certainly a great Easter. And I will talk to you hopefully very soon. And I'll see you at Happy Neighborhood Project every Thursday at 11 o'clock Central. Bye for now.